So in this video, I just wanted to show you how you can use Clay and Appify.com to scrape any company that's running any kind of ads and you can figure out what kind of ads they're running. You can get uh, you know knowledge about the ads. You could do whatever you need to do. You can know that they're running ads and then you can find out what kind of ads that they're running as well too. And so we'll use the Appify integration inside of Clay in order to make this happen. And so you can see, uh, the, I'm just gonna show you, you could set it up really quickly because sometimes setting up Appify is kind of confusing in Clay. And then we'll just go over the Appify actors because they're really simple. So basically you just have to connect your Appify um, API key and then try running the Appify actor in Appify before you bring it to Clay. That will also make it so that you could select your Appify scraper right here as well too. And then after you run it, there's gonna be literally like an input JSON here, like the input data um, in the, here, and I'm trying to find it. Here's the JSON example, right? You're gonna put this JSON straight in to your clay data right here. And then the only thing you're gonna swap out is the URL in the input. So I know I was showing the Facebook ad library and now this is the linkedin.com ad library, but you can just swap out the, the URLs here and it's super, super easy. And so then you would just insert it right here. And so it's very easy to do this for Facebook ads. It's really easy to do this for LinkedIn ads. It's really easy to do this for Google ads. It's probably easy for TikTok ads and other kinds of ads as well too. But basically you can just use this LinkedIn ad scraper. This one works for us really well. This Google ad scraper works for us as well too. And uh, so for LinkedIn, the way you set up the LinkedIn ads is that you uh, go to the ad library and then when you see when you put in the domain of the person that you're looking up, you'll see that it's ad library search account owner equals pilot.com pilots LinkedIn ads will show up here. And if you come in here and you say clientboost.com or just client boost, you'll see client boost stuff. So if you put in, I think the company uh, LinkedIn URL, so it's linkedin.com backslash company backslash and then whatever that will get you what you need. And you could just create searches here. Hmm. Maybe I need to play with making some better searches here. I guess company name is working pretty well as well too. I think when you, you should be able to then, yeah, figure out who the advertiser is. So there's probably better ways that you could put together the search in the, the ad library for yourself there, but play around with that. It's an, essentially you could search the company name and then you'll get enough data yeah, that you can confirm the ad is actually from the company that you you think it's from. So you'll be all fine as long as you're just doing searches that way. And then you have the Google ad scraper as well. This one takes the URL starting with the ad transparency, google.com. That's even easier to get because if you wanted just Gymshark, you literally just do. Uh, and if you can't see that, um, I don't know if Loom is showing it, but if you literally just do ads, transparency.google.com, region, USA, blah, 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 domain equals gymshark.com, which you can programmatically create all of these URLs here, as long as you have a clean website here, you can look up anybody and what Google ads they're running and uh, scrape that with the Appify actor right here. And then finally, this is the Facebook ad scraper we use all the time. I personally like it when it's maintained by Appify. So I actually have somebody that I can go get support from. So the other ones aren't, but this Facebook ad scraper is. And uh, then yeah, you'll be able to know who's running Facebook ads. And this one, the only input you need for the Facebook is literally the Facebook page. So it's super, super simple to be able to get the inputs here. And you could set this all up in clay. And then you might even have to chain some of these together where you know you might not have the fa Facebook ads library ID, but you'll get it from this one. And then you can get a report from another one of the Facebook ad um, scrapers as well too. It, sometimes you chain these things together, but using Appify to scrape ad details works really well. And it's super, super easy to run. And so if you didn't know about this, well, now you know, it's super easy to set up in Clay and it turns into some really great targeting data for you as well. And it's not that expensive. It's actually pretty cheap to get this done. Uh, so I hope you set this up for yourself and shout out to Appify and Clay.com.